Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can use the Blender Auto Setup plugin to transfer actor core characters to Blender for high quality rendering, as well as how to apply a Rigify rig to create custom poses. Let's start by selecting a character from the actor core website. As you can see, there are hundreds of characters to choose from, spanning all kinds of different styles, genres, and industries, not to mention a significant selection of business related models. We can preview our model and search for specific chat motions to pair with her. You can see that there are quite a few chat related motions as well. If you're satisfied, add the chat motion to your selection and choose a similar model for your motion retargeting. It doesn't need to be exactly the same one, but it should have similar dimensions. For download options, I'm going to ensure Blender is selected as the target application and go ahead and download the model, complete with the motion. Simply extract the download zip file and you'll find separate actor and motion folders. The actor folder includes both model and motion while the motion folder only includes the motion. In Blender, I'll then use the import character feature to bring the model and motion FBX in. If we go into material preview mode, we can see that the character's materials have all been properly assigned and we can view all the texture node connections. In wireframe mode, we can see that actor core characters have a very low and efficient polygon count, which makes them ideal for crowd animations requiring large numbers of characters, or as background NPCs for game design scenarios. They also come with a complete facial expression system. In the data editor, we can view the blend shapes that make up the expression and lip syncing capabilities that can easily be animated in iClone. That's the basics of actor core character structure. Now let's move on to some basic lighting and camera setup. Under scene tools in the auto setup panel, there are a number of lighting presets available for one click application. There is also a camera button that allows us to quickly create a scene camera, including a camera target that makes it easier to control the focus of our camera. If you open up a window for camera perspective, you can see how this really helps to keep our camera on target while still moving it around to different locations. Once we've decided on a camera view, we can then go ahead and give the scene a quick render. Another feature of actor core characters is their embedded color ID and RGB mask texture maps. These can be found under texture channel mixer in material parameters. These are also used to divide the character's body material into different parts, allowing us to customize each one individually while still maintaining a low resource single material on our model. You can adjust the parameters under each section to see the results on that particular area of our character model. This includes hair, skin, and individual elements of each outfit. You can adjust other properties like metallic and roughness to turn a wool blazer into a shiny leather jacket as well. This gives you the ability to generate many different looking characters from a single model in your scene. Actor Core also allows you to aggregate a motion, character model, and prop in your inventory and download them together with the combined download option. You can assign different props to different hands and when you're ready, hit download. This will give us a single FBX file that contains all of those items. Here we can see the combination of all of them together in Blender once we use the same import character feature. Once you have a model in your scene, you can easily download new animations from ActorCore and apply it to the same character in Blender.
This time, be sure to select Export Motion only in the Download Settings. This will give you a single FBX that only contains the motion, and now we can select Import Animation, which will give us an additional skeleton in our scene, which we don't need, so we can just make it invisible. Under Rigging and Animation, you can see that we now have an additional Motion Set item, which is our new animation. You can switch between them by hitting Load. This allows you to easily accumulate a collection of motions and assign them to a single character model in your scene, a very useful feature. Finally, let's look at how you can apply a Rigify rig to your model for additional posing and animation functionality. As with most things in the Auto Setup tool, it's a single click of the Rigify button to get a rig generated for your character. Enable In Front under Viewport Display to always show the rig controls over your model. In Pose Mode, we can now use the Rigify controls to customize the pose of our model utilizing a variety of options for fuller control over everything down to the fingers. In addition to the body controls, there are also facial controls. Since actor core character facial expressions are driven via shape keys, you can also set these parameter values manually in the data editor when you're in object mode. As you can see, ActorCore and the Blender Auto Setup tool create an incredibly efficient and powerful workflow for any project, whether it be business, game design, or any variety of other scenarios. That's about all there is for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.